Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. We'll have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security for those. I can't have made myself clear. This area is restricted. That's it. One foot in front of the other. Goodbye forever. Sir, this is a restricted area. That's right. But it sure is loud. I heard something about a secret demo upstairs in the expo building. But... Not so much. Any idea what he's doing in there? I heard he's demoing the next big thing. Hell, did you see that leak? That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time, I tried to have a meeting with him, 
He had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade moneymen. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new Combat Android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. Guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new Combat Android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time, I tried to have a meeting with him. He had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a de Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Looking good, man. Looking good. Mr. Mendez? Right this way, sir. HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. Uh, listen, I realize this may sound trivial, but the Fountain View soda dispenser has been on the fritz since we moved in. I can't work without my energy drinks, and I have been forced to bring my own. What? Well, yes, that's right. They fixed it today. But, and here's the problem. Mr. Knox is... It's right in here, Mr. Mendez. Ah, Ted, good to finally see you. Nice traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. 
I'm going to say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there, android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired, dumb Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead, make my day. We're ready, Mendez. Take any image on the table and scan it. Well, how's that for impressive? Amazing, I know. And just think how much more we can accomplish together. My brain. It's your money. Sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I still Don't prefer the human. You're part of an old institution and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct engagement. I guarantee this thing will absolutely murder anything you... Striking an unseen fatal blow. A surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them. Fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians. Bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired, dumb Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly Hello safe. Hello there. Go ahead. Make my a day. Target acquired. Dumb me. Well, how's that for impressive? 
Amazing, I know. And just think how much more Turner we can accomplish together. Money. More money. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I still prefer the human touch. You're Turner part of an old Wired. institution Don't and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. A time. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely. Well, how's that for impressive? Turner Amazing, wired. I know. I just we can accomplish together. My brains, your money. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Well, how's that for impress? Amazing, I know. And just think how much more Turner we can accomplish together. My money. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I still prefer the human touch. You're part of an old institution, and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct engagement. I guarantee this thing will abs absolutely murder anything you put it up against. Sounds promising. So, Mr. Mendez, impressive so far, yeah? Let me quickly show you our on-site robotics lab. It's small, but state-of-the-art, and it's fully mobile, so you can deploy it anywhere. So, as part of the deal, Kronstadt will throw in one deployment cell per five units. Outfitted to enable on-site adjustments and calibrations, it'll be shipped in a bulletproof shell and can be dropped anywhere on the planet using the Kronstadt T-37 deployment drones. So if you have any questions or want to see anything again, just let me or McKinnis know. I'll let you hang out and look at everything for yourself. Hey, don't be a stranger, Ted. Sir, I'm afraid you don't have the right clearance. Sorry.
So, I'm hearing rumors on the corporate grapevine. Apparently, Knox wants to do a large-scale field test of Palace in a few months. Huh. Well, that sounds like one of those entirely unfounded rumors that get spread around down at the local bar after work. But Palace isn't in a state to be field tested on... Hey, good to see you, man. Like that. race car with Sierra Knox behind the wheel. Stan is working on is too important to risk in some high-stakes chess game. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep you informed of any progress.
Hmm. Mr. Knox. New I've looked connection over the strong. numbers and the suits performing but, admirably, I'll need sir. to build in some smaller fiber optics so for this to align here, with the I fitting requirements. I don't feel safe at all. The new K-62 uranium core chip looks to be able to handle monitoring of vitals with reduced heating. She's not exactly... Surely he must have opened for business by now.
first assignment for Kronstadt? I haven't seen your face before. Yeah. Got signed on for this event last week. Just they generally beefed up security. We met a couple of nice data buddies. Well, I don't think they're... Each loading syringe design needs a few modifications. Throughout the entire time the suit's worn, but a load of anti-back should be able to help with it. Any possible infections. I need to adjust this back at the lab. The gun. Robert knocks down. Now for the heir to the Kronstadt Empire.
Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. The Kronstadt security system is really good. I should get one. to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I just got to pick up the documents from my van, but um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit. Don't move. I've called for assistance, but for now we need you to stay still. Oh, my head. Some guy jumped me. He stole my mascot outfit. Who, who would do that? I don't know. I, I, I need to figure something out. Talk soon. Did you find some keys over there? Oh man, you're a real lifesaver. Thank you. Let's get this over with. Oh, what? I'm sure it put me. It must have fallen down me. Oh, no. What the hell? No way. No way, man. The documents are gone. How are they gone? Why is it there? You big idiot. I can't believe it. Gertie's gonna kill me. The race is entering its final lap, 47. Normally reserved for the drivers. Fixed me right up. What? Like doping? No, it's for after the racing's done. Although it did kind of look like the court of friends. That ticket tap. I mean, only the rich can afford it. Right. Over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. So, oh, that's it, folks. 
Moses Lee and Team Kowloon just killed it here in Miami. That is one more victory for the Chinese race. Roger Dunks is not going to like it, and it will be interesting to hear what he has to say after the podium ceremony. I'm telling you, Miss Knox is going to be pissed. I did the pre-race checkup on her, and well, let's just say she's got a bad case of intermittent motion disorder. <laughs> nice outfit. Really brings out your eyes. Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. She has to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Miss Knox know you're here. So far, so good, 47. Now. Let's see where this meeting is headed. Let's hope it's not like last year when a streaker delayed. You see anything weird, report to us immediately. So, uh, you here for a job application or what? Something like that. Nice. If you don't mind me saying so, your particular choice of attire yes, is maybe a little. Knox. I don't know. There's a guy uh, here wearing a mask. For a job outfit, interview, I mean. My suit is at him? the cleaners. And you couldn't in. find anything else to wear. Correct. You must lead a I'll very interesting life, my friend. You have no idea. Hey, Flamingo guy. Miss Knox is on her way. Grab a seat somewhere. She'll be here as soon as she can. So, Mr. Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names are for friends. Very well. Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. What am I gonna do? Kill you. broad daylight. I just want a bit of privacy here. Not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. So just to get this straight, you claimed in your email to have somehow found internal reports that show Kronstadt's involvement in the Tungan Valley Massacre. Sounds about right. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father doesn't need to know about this. It's just another undesired distraction. I don't care if the information is true or false. I don't care if it mentions moving money from the Nexus project into Tungan Valley damage control, as you claimed in your correspondence. I do care about protecting my father, which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if you need us, just call. We're right around the corner. So here's the deal. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. One, you will leave this place and this country for good. Huh? Both targets down. Well done, 47. 
Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Yeah, that's white blood, man. You might be onto something. something. Maybe one of those guys will come out of the man and flash a pen at us. So did Dr. Sorensen manage? Let's head, uh, just take a seat. We're, we're very busy right now. Over and the crowd is going nuts down here in Miami. This is a race that will go down in history. Unforgettable drama. What more could anyone possibly want? Let's hear it for our champion. And let's get the party started. execution Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. 
Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. <laughs> 